In a past video, I decorated my entire Animal Crossing house using a wheel randomizer, which was a difficult undertaking, but we made it work. We decorated every single room, and while I'm proud of that video, I just feel like the house isn't me. It doesn't have that specific list the last pizzazz to it. And since I'm going to be updating my dream address soon with the summer version of my island, I want to overhaul the house. So that's what we're going to do today. I have really sensitive skin all over my body. Native has sent me a bunch of products to try out and I am super proud to say that they are the sponsor of today's video. I am so impressed with their paraben and aluminum free deodorant. It's not sticky or gross and it dries super nicely. I typically use unscented deodorants because I've had problems with fragrance deodorants in the past and they are not pretty. <laughs> but even their scented products come in sensitive versions and I have loved all of them and they seriously smell so yummy too. Even though it is still 100 degrees where I'm at. I am living my fall fantasy with scents like cashmere and rain from their cabin collection. They also have scents that are really great for smelling clean, like cotton and lily. Native also offers plastic-free versions of their packaging. I also think it's worth it to check out their toothpaste and body wash. I love this eucalyptus mint body wash that they sent me. Mm, it just smells so clean. If you're interested in native deodorant, make sure to check out the link in my description or use code ListTheLast for 33% off. Normally, these deodorants would be $39, but with my code, you'll get three for $26 and 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Thank you, Native, for sponsoring this video. I cannot wait to make my way through all of these wonderful products. So decorating all rooms in the house, all um, six of them, is quite the daunting task for me. I gathered up a bunch of items that I think I'm gonna use, but I also did something that I thought was like a cool idea during my stream, and I will now present to you with my idea. I made things called mood cubes, trademark. Instead of trying to play plan out meticulously what each room is gonna look like and then redoing it for my house to just make a little cube, just a little four by four square and then put some items in it so that I have at least something to go off of. It's kind of like a mood board. That's sort of where mood cube comes from. I thought this was a great idea. This is gonna be my upstairs. I'm gonna make it into a little gift shop. A little bit of like a tropical gift shop vibe. The downstairs here, this is gonna be a bar. A very tropical, divey type of bar. Look at these mood cubes. Oh, I'm obsessed with them. And then this is gonna be my bathroom. And the bathroom's just gonna be one of the rooms on the side. Here's my plan for the kitchen, sort of. The kitchen was a little bit harder for me, but I kinda like how it came together. I like all sorts of different flashing types of colors. A little bit more of like an eclectic style. We have a little bit of a Japanese influence as well as like tropical. We're just gonna do it all baby and this is the bedroom. The bedroom feels very me. I love all sorts of cute colors and I wanted to keep it kind of like a little bit more personal but also maintaining the aesthetic of the rest of the house. The last one is the living room. This one was the hardest one by far. The living room is always so hard for me to do because it's that main room that has hallways to all the other rooms and I just find it so awkward to decorate in there because it's like too many doorways. That might just be me though. I am, I struggle with doing house interiors in the first place. We're gonna get started on our upstairs, which is the gift shop. Oh, I'm excited about that. So it looks like for the gift shop, my main wall here is the straw wall. And then I have an accent wall of the rope net wall. All right, so there's my rope net wall. I don't know what flooring I'm using. It kind of looks like it's dirt or something. To be totally honest, I don't know if I have dirt, but is that what I would really want, you know? I kind of like terracotta. I know somebody is gonna say something about these roaches. I will go ahead and take their lives away. Jesus. The thing that's already starting to trip me up, I'm noticing, is that 
Um, it's very big. Like my mood cube is very, very small. And so what am I gonna do? I don't know. But I like how my mood cube looks and I don't wanna compromise that by having this be such a big space, you know? I could put it in a smaller room, but I don't wanna be switching rooms around at this stage. I've thought about this way too hard. And so if I start going rogue, I think it's gonna turn out to be a disaster. Okay, I wanna add this fan in here, but it's gonna drive me crazy with the noise. I can't do it. So before I get too wild with it, I need to just grab everything that is in the picture. I don't have the exact customizations of everything, and I don't have every single item. It's a little bit hard to gather items, you know, in this game, but I have a decent amount of stuff. For example, I didn't go out and get a, I think it's a giant water bug. That's the thing that comes in the big blue thing, but I do have a ton of cute containers like that. So you know what works out. All right, so that's our little checkout station right now. All it needs is a cash register and a cutesy little bag if I have one. I don't think I even considered that I would need one. Oh, adorable. And then in the photo, I can already tell like I love how these bottles are, so I'm gonna keep them. For some reason, the paradise planning photo, I got a bunch of them because I just love it so damn much. I can't even help myself. It's so stinking cute. Therefore, it will be used everywhere in this house. I also believe that the shop would be a really great place to have maybe a crafting section, mostly because I can't think of anywhere else that it would work. Ooh, okay. Um, I could put another little sea creature. I think it's a big flex to have a scallop. Oh, why do I have to go light it up myself though? Also, is it too big for that little shelf? Like, what do we think about that? What's another like tiny... Oh, here we go. Goldfish pot. Oh, that looks so silly. Fly. Fly is a good one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need more store stuff. What is happening here? Also a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of vines. Ooh, ooh, that looks so good. Still sort of throwing me off how big the room is, but I am living, laughing, loving, and learning. <laughs> Making this blueprint, this plan, such a good idea. Because look, I already have half of it done and I think it looks pretty good. Now I can sort of take creative creative liberties with the other half. And this is where I think I'm gonna start freaking out. <laughs> Ooh, obsessed with using the jukebox. Oh, yeah, 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 the retro ice cream case, duh, you guys. Okay, wait, bathtub with yuzu, this is ridiculous. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I want the retro ice cream case to be like more important than it is right now. Like I don't know where to put her besides right here. You know what? That seems perfectly fine. Love ABD in here. Yes. I don't like when objects face the like right when you enter because it kind of obstructs the view a little bit, don't you think? When it's like an open object like this, totally fine. But having the bell machine up against there while I think it would look cool does not necessarily make a lot of sense to me, to be honest. I will, however, still put the bell machine there. I have no idea if I have a crafting table. Oh, just kidding. I literally just passed one. Oh, it's pink. Oh, I probably gotta change that because it doesn't really match with the room. I gotta finish up the walls though. Totally forgot. Hmm. This is a toughie, isn't it? Oh, I wish I had more of these mounted fish and I am really not willing to go and get them. <laughs> also, the more I place stuff down, the more I'm like, ooh, am I gonna regret using that right now? Is that something I'm gonna wish I didn't use and want later? Oh my god, this is supposed to be an apparel shop. Oh, Jesus criminy. Okay, this whole wall has to be covered in fashion items. Oh, how could I forget that? That was like the most important part of this whole entire thing. Also, I kind of forgot to get tropical hats, so I'm just gonna have to make it work. That's looking pretty cute. Yeah, okay. I have pretty much everything that I wanna put in this room. Minus a couple things like gyroids and then I want to do the music. I need to customize this crafting table, get her placed down, and then we will come back for our final result. I have a question. What is your preference here on the lighting? So this is option one and this is option two. What do you think is more fun, cool, exciting, and mystical? Anyways, I added in the fan here. We have
have Whistleoid work in the counter. It took me a while to find something that was tall enough for Whistleoid to be even seen over the counter. Added a couple more detail items. I'm not loving that these two are yellow right next to each other. That is an issue for future lists. I don't want to do that right now. And then on this side, I changed this plant into a crane game because I thought it was just visually more interesting. And then, yeah, I added some more stuff to the walls. What do you think? Of everything as I'm looking at it I just am loving the idea of another vine perhaps in this corner that seems really pretty to me I would do another hanging glowing moss but then I'd have to make more and I'm feeling a little lazy at the moment watch me have to make more regardless I also threw on a little ditty back here KK lament to be exact if you can think of oh Anyways, if you can think of any more objects to add into this space, let me know. God, it's just so freaking pretty. I'm loving it. To me, the second most exciting room is the basement here. My mood cube represents a beautiful little tropical dive bar. That is what I'm going for here. So let's see if we can do it, but on a way larger scale. I like how it looks in the little mood cube as I did with the room above more than I I think I like it large and long, but I wanna be surprised, honestly. I think it has potential to look really cool. I know for sure that I wanna craft some partition walls because I do not have any at the moment to help sort of conceal this jungle wall a little bit better. Also, should we dim the lights? Oh, well now we can't see nothing but what do we think hanging glowing moss is a must and for now i'll just have it look like that i guess i don't know i don't want it to be hugging the corner because i got this whole entire space to fill also all of these counters need to be customized damn it all right i'm taking them with me i gotta make some partition walls i think i have another idea that could possibly work for this space let me get back to you so i had a pretty brilliant idea if I do say so myself. I decided since this bar area is so super big, I got a bunch of bathroom stalls and we're gonna make a little bathroom. The bathroom stall item is kinda underrated in my opinion. It's a very functional object and I think that she deserves a little bit more love. I also recolored these counters so they match with my original photo. Those are looking nice and then I did get some partition walls. That looks pretty good back there. Also got ourselves a little sink for back there and why not? Uh, tiny pile of cardboard boxes. Is it better like this? Uh, I don't know, with just one partition wall? For now, I'm gonna leave it open. Don't be mad, we'll figure it out later. I also was not able to turn on the TV in my mood cube, which totally ruined the ambiance. So thank God I can turn my TV on now. I just was so sad, but now look, cute alien movie. I do think that I need to slightly turn up some lights. Not too much. I can't see a damn thing. And having just a little oomph, a little boost is gonna look so nice. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, wait, don't look at it. Don't look at it now. <laughs> I forgot about soundscapes too. Ooh, I might have to go back upstairs and add a soundscape. Also, you know what I did totally forget as well? A depolishing. Do we do a polishing run at the very end? Because I mean, we all knew that I was gonna forget, right? <laughs> Ooh, I kind of like this red glow. Ooh, that looks so nice. This might be my favorite room. It's not even done yet, but I think it's my favorite room. I also got some other cool stuff that would probably look great up here, like the game machines. And I also got a pool table. I also don't think we need every single arcade machine here. Are we an arcade bar? What are we? But the pool table most definitely belongs here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I will just have one little guy in the corner. Wait, maybe this is my opportunity try out partition wall round two baby because then i really could just have all three of them there's not really a ton of space for like seating but this does not have to be realistic all of these noises are sort of driving me crazy so i'm gonna hurry up and try to get it done because i don't know how much more i could take but i actually can i turn these off is there they're away call me will 
because I'm gonna find a way. No. Oh my god. That's fine, everybody. One last thing that I'm missing from my reference photo, actually, is a little seating area. And I believe I could probably fit it still. I'm really proud of this. I think it looks fabulous. Maybe I'll even throw a shanty mat. <gasps> Yeah, I'll throw a shanty mat right there. I am going to lose my mind with all of this music, so I need to wrap it up. I'm gonna add some finishing touches and show you my final. I'm kind of loving the vibe in here. I have all of this wall all decorated. It looks super cool from this angle. And then of course back there is our bathrooms. I still think they look pretty cool. And then in this corner is our bar, like the actual bar area. I added a bunch of wall stuff. And then of course we got our jukebox, some gyroids drinking at the bar. I didn't put a gyroid bartender. I made the executive decision in this corner to get rid of the really loud games. I couldn't figure out how to turn them off. And so I thought, you know, it's just not worth it. I kept one game and then I added the crane game because it's a little bit quieter. She still makes noise, but she's quieter for sure. So that I could play something on the jukebox and have it not be complete sensory overload because <laughs> that is not what we want. I think it is time to move on to something a little bit easier. Easier. The next three rooms are gonna be the smaller ones. Hopefully we can just boom, bang them out, and then we'll do this awkward room last. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret that because I'm gonna be out of cool items and then I'm gonna get pissed off and I'm gonna hate this room. We'll see, that might be foreshadowing. Should we make this one into my bedroom? I swear there used to be this meme that everyone would put their bathrooms to the right or their kitchens or something. Guess what I have to say to that? Follow your heart and your dreams. Me, I like to be different though and I'm gonna go ahead and just do my bedroom here. So I can see from my mood cube that I had it very, very dim. I'm a little too lazy to customize my sloppy bed. I accidentally made it green instead of blue. Let's get this lamp up in here. Oh, gorgeous. I mean, what else did we expect, truly? As per usual, I kind of just got to recreate this mood cube. I'm also making this my quote-unquote office. So I have a desk, my favorite desk in the game, that needs to go in here. Where is she? Aha, here we go. Study desk. She's so... She is it. I also thought throwback mitt chair was kind of a schley. Kind of like a little bit random, but I like her. For my dresser, I picked this rat tan. Rattan. I'm not sure how we're saying it, but that's the one that I picked. And now I feel like I have way too much room. Here is an idea. I did this in what's her name's house. God, what is her name? Mmm, Silvana. I put this little partition and then put clothes on it. So why don't we add some of my favorites here? Of course we got Tomate shirt, very dark in this corner. I'm noticing I need to put a lamp somewhere. And then a hat. Ugh, I've already given up so many hats. So pretty. Yep, see, that was a good, good idea. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna go customize the sloppy toppy bed. We have somewhere to go to customize now. I love this little setup. I I can't even believe this room looks so good. It took me a minute, but I realized that I was missing a couple other things, so I had to go obtain some other items. Gotta kill this roach and get back into it. Rest in peace. So I fixed this sh sloppy bed. It's that pretty blue that I intended it to be. Can't live without this next item, the starry garland. Oh, did not mean to get it in purple. Is that a blessing in disguise though? Because if it's cool, I'm not gonna change it, you know? Why would I? The paper chain, oh, what the? F I was supposed to get that in the fun colors. Okay, redo, regroup, you guys. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why is this room taking me longer than the other ones, huh? Is it because I am a slowpoke or because I have run into a series of unfortunate events? I don't know. I don't think I can answer that question. But what I can do is put those cutesy little garlands up. I put two for now. Actually, you know what? I really think that it's better with just one. 
Look at that. Room is pretty much replicated. I did get this rug, the Karopi rug, thinking, oh, you know what? How perfect is that, actually? That was pretty epic. Do I have, I do, I do have like a tall lamp. Maybe that would be good in the corner right here. And then what, do I just add like a bunch of random-ish? Truthfully, if I walk away and it is exactly this room and nothing else changes, I'm totally happy. But I'm gonna see if there's any additions that I can make and then we shall regroup. I wanna know your thoughts. How would you maybe elevate this a little bit? What's really important to me is that I'm able to come in and change and then able to come in and go to bed when I want to visit dream addresses. And then it matches pretty closely with my source material. Looks really nice. Added a cat corner, added some more stuff to the walls. I also made a pom-pom corner right over there. It's personal, okay? KK Robot Synth, one of the best new songs. And then of course I got my photo of Punchy, my favorite villager. All the Sanrio stuff that I want to use is in here. It looks great. What's going to be easier, the kitchen or the bathroom? Neither of them. They're both going to be pretty difficult. Let's do the bathroom. Kill the roach. Got him. Gotta pull up my source material here. So this is truly one of my favorite wallpaper combos here. Aqua tile wall and then the matching bathhouse wall as an accent. Isn't that gorgeous? I got that idea from Remo, who's awesome, did all my channel art, and is very good at decorating islands. Now, I'm not loving this flooring. I'm not loving that flooring either. I think I chose like a little bit of a darker flooring in my source material. So we'll do that, um, even though it's not the exact same. And let's just go to town. I tried to get most of this stuff just because like I spent a really really long time trying to plan out this bathroom. There was a lot of complications just because like the colors were really hard to coordinate, especially with this like insane blue tile wall. It was a lot, okay? I had to use my brain a little bit, which was hard, but we're going for peaceful, tranquil, Quaint. A relaxing vibe in this bathroom overall. We've got tub in the corner. Another reason why the mood cube took me so long to do was because it was really small and I wanted to fit in all of the elements of the bathroom, but now maybe it might be easier, honestly, because I have a lot more room to work with. It's not so cramped. Something that I love seeing people do is add cute little things into their bathtub. Now, I ran out of the bottles, which kind of sucks. If you look at this picture, you'll see that the bottles, if you put them on the wall in the correct spot, they'll like glitch into the tub. It looks so cool, but I'm out of bottles and I cannot be bothered. If you put these puppies in correctly, they'll hang out in the water, which is just too cute. I can't deal with that. Okay, let's do these two. That squeakoid's kind of drowning a little bit. <laughs> if we get a tall gyroid I think I'd be a little bit more comfortable with that. Do I not have any tall boys? Oh okay good 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 good. Okay the harp is fine. We could do the cloud glorying but I don't honestly want to do that. <laughs> I would want to put like rugs underneath it or something but I am pretty limited in what I can do at the moment. Maybe I'll go with light herringbone because at least it's not like just straight lines. I can't deal with straight lines, darling. It's not going to work. It doesn't need to be crowded and full of stuff like my other rooms have been thus far because I just simply don't have that much stuff that is going to work in the bathroom. I've learned my lesson. You know, it's very hard to do your entire house in one day. You would think I would have learned that the first time I did this, but no, 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 no. For some reason, it's just now hitting me. I'm not looking too far off here from my reference. Kind of struggling, you know, find some stuff to fill in our void here. But, ooh, actually, that's the perfect thing to fill in our void here. What am I going to put on it? I don't know. Anybody want a bath wedding cake? No, a candle. What am I going to do with this corner? What do you even do <laughs> in the bathroom? Like decor wise, throw a bed in there. We could do one of these like vanity things. I don't want to put a bunch of junk in here because I want to maintain the vibe of relaxing, fun, not cardboard box. You know, that's not really going to work for me. My best option I think is really 
one of these. The miscellaneous items are also running pretty low. And I don't like the iridescence of this thing, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. If I put a big rug in the middle, is it cool? Are we chilling? Can we be even here? I'm gonna be honest. This room is not translating well. Instead of getting mad about it, I'm just gonna move on. I'll add some finishing touches. I gotta finish the walls and then come back to you. Um, remember when I said I don't have any bottles left? Yeah, um, apparently I freaking lied. Now you can see the, what the bottles look like when they're glitched into the tub. This is it. This is the final. I honestly don't think I can do any better. If anything, I would probably change the flooring and the rug before I put my dream address up. But if my dream address goes up like this, I'm perfectly happy. So this is gonna be the last room before we have to do our main room, which is the one I'm the most worried about, but um, kitchen is exciting. So take a look at my kitchen mood cube. I hope I have everything though, to be honest. I'm a little scared looking at this because I don't know if I have all the wallpaper. So I don't have that fun, funky little accent wall. Hmm. Okay, I have to do it. I have to get it. I will by the end, I promise. But we got a truck along here. I've been sitting here for nearly two hours already. I think we got to get a move on it. That compact kitchen stove and the sloppy sink combo, god tier. If you're not using that combo in everything, I typically like it in my villager homes. Just because the villager houses are so small, it's like, can you really even fit anything in there regardless? But that's why I really like them the most. And once again, I'm going to shove everything in the corner and we'll figure it out in a minute, especially since I don't have an accent wall. What's nice is that we do actually have like a lot more room to work with on this one, which instead of being a curse like it has been is actually kind of a blessing. I have to customize some Zen cushions, get that wall, and while I'm at it, I might as well go grab myself some bottles because I do think that the bottles are gonna make the kitchen look really nice here. And then what do I do with this like big corner? Ah, it's so tough. All right. Um. Maybe if it was like a different table and chairs. It is a really nice space filler, so I think I'm gonna have to say yes to the dress. <laughs> if I can think of some better chairs, that would be nice. Okay, BRB, I took a break. I went and I got myself a Mountain Dew. I'm ready to jump back into this. I got a bunch of cool items too. First thing is first is I got that accent wall that we wanted. I am gonna put that partition wall right up in there. And how about a pillar? Yeah, you know what? And we don't want a window because my reference doesn't have one and it looks pretty freaking good without it. I, I don't know why, I guess I'm just anti-window lately. I couldn't really give you a reason either. <laughs> okay, cutesy, this is shaping up. I actually got different chairs and I customized them with some custom designs so that they sort of go with these Zen cushions. Ah, and since this is my kitchen, I'm gonna put omu rice because I love omu rice. And then how about fried rice? Because I also love fried rice. Stacked bags. The colors here are a bit off. I, I, I don't disagree with you. I don't even know what you're saying, but I have a feeling that maybe that's what somebody is saying. It feels so drab. I gotta say, it's probably the wallpaper. I just don't think I have it in me to change it, to be honest. I've done a lot today. Well, I was gonna say I have a spare stained glass light, but I don't. Shoot, that would have added a lot. That yellow mat. Maybe the omu rice and the rice is too red. Cactus in the middle. Let's decorate the walls. Hopefully it'll pull itself together because I don't think I can stare at this anymore. Once I added all the decor, I dimmed the room a little bit. I don't know. This one could definitely use a little bit more work, but overall, I don't... I don't think I'm mad. It's kind of hard, I think, when you start to mix match all these patterns and stuff. You know, obviously like my wallpaper choice and my flooring choice makes it seem really dull and perhaps uninviting. I think it sort of came together in its own weird way. Are we ready for the final room? The very, very last room? It's this one. Ayo, love it so much um, and all of its awkwardness. <laughs> for this one, I have a pretty simple plan and I kind of also planned to have way less stuff. I used the shoji screen wall because then I won't have like a ton of wall decor that I need to find. Jesus fucking Christ. This is the worst, the worst. I so wish that I could just like text my villagers and let them 
come over that way, but they're just showing up all day while I'm here decorating. Oh, but she brought me food. That's sweet. I am about to lose my freaking mind. We are going on hour three here. Get out of my house. This is it though, folks. I also did reuse this flooring. I know some of you guys are gonna hate it. Some of you guys are gonna be this flooring haters. Truthfully, there's nothing that I can do um, because I love it. Oh, I wish I had that stained glass lamp. I just, oh, it really just transforms everything. It makes it so much better. And this room is just so awkward to me because it has so many doorways. And obviously with my mood cube, I had way less doorways to work with. Seeing my storage have like easily half as many items in it is so weird. I have that green panda bear in my mood cube, but I really don't think I got a green panda bear. I have a regular one. Would have been nice to have the green one. I wonder if I could customize it. I am not backing out of this decorating menu until this is done, actually. Obviously, I have some sort of relationship with this lamp. I'm using her everywhere. It's the perfect amount of warm glow. What do you want me to do? And it's inconspicuous like it's not gonna grab your attention in a negative way. I feel like I'm like freaking Chip and Joanna right now. I'm just such an aesthetic expert. Should I partition wall? I think so. This corner in particular is coming together. I can't say much for the other ones, but this one I am happy with. Oh, that's kind of like visually interesting how those are going together right there. I hate that when you hang a bag, it hangs on the mannequin. Can we abolish that actually? Because I think it's fucking ugly. I really don't know what to put on these wood slats. I guess I don't really have to do anything. I like how I immediately started working on the walls because I don't know what I'm doing with the rest of the space. I think it looks a little strange to have this screen in the room with the screen walls. Anybody else maybe feel that way? Always, when in doubt, I'm just gonna throw a shitload of boxes down. Don't mind me, I am just looking through every single item I have, trying to find anything that I could possibly use. It's clutter. We just, we need more clutter. I hate to say it, you guys, but I have to do it. I gotta customize some stuff so that we can finish this room. I'm gonna lose my mind. I am. I really am. I had to do it to him. Customize those white bookshelves. Boom, put the clutter around them. Oh, I would love to get it perfected before I post my dream address. But I just feel like I'm in like an item drought. <laughs> I don't have a lot to work with here. Don't skip the house when you're watching the island tour because maybe one or two things is gonna be different. I'm thinking that this is a great place to stop, truthfully. I have a couple of finishing touches that I need to do overall in the whole house, like polishing, etc etc so how about here let me just show you the final this is what i've done with the front room i turned off the lights added a bunch more stuff that i had in my storage just kind of filled it with junk i would say it turned out pretty snazzy if i do say so myself you're just gonna have to come visit it in person to really see um the true magic that i made here in this room not only did I go around and make edits to the rooms, I also added some polishing. And this is how the kitchen turned out. You know what? For now, I am happy with it. And I think I will live. Gonna be honest here and say, I think the bathroom is the weakest room. What really kills it for me, I think, is the flooring and the rug situation. You know, I think we could do a lot better than this. Oh, and apparently I totally forgot to decorate that entire wall. You know what? This turned out fine. This room is gonna need a lot more attention though. Truly. In my heart, I believe this room, my bedroom, is excellence. The more that I look at it, the more I'm like, yeah, you know what? I like that it's a little bit open. It has a little less clutter than some of the other rooms. I couldn't rave about it more. It feels very much like the style that I am kind of going for. Colorful, fun, unique and a little bit of pizzazz, darling. This one is the kicker. This is my most favorite room. I just don't think we could have done any better in here, truthfully. It feels like a little underground bar. Like I just, I can't believe it. And oh, I added the little swirlies to the gyroids so that they would look like drunk or something. I don't know, cute details. Of course, the bathroom's back there. What a great space filler. I am not even going to undermine my genius on that one. I think I deserve my flowers. Anyways, um, this is probably my favorite corner back here with all of the wall clutter and stuff. Ooh, yeah, this one is uh, no notes, truthfully. Do you even remember this room? Because it was at the very beginning of the video and I sure as shit did not. So I would say 
you know, maybe don't do all your rooms in one sitting because they gradually get worse as you go on. These first two rooms that we did are perfection, amazing, couldn't have done any better, truthfully. Every room in my house, you know what? I, I can't even believe it. I've never had a house that I'm like, wow, this is perfect. Definitely not. It has never been my forte. Want to give a huge shout out to two of my biggest inspirations. We got Crystal Cat, of course, and Remo, whose house I toured really a long time ago and I've never, ever forgotten about. Okay, love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you're having a good day and you continue to do so. I will see you in the next one.